Epilepsy is a brain disorder that produces repeated and spontaneous seizures. A seizure disorder affects a variety of mental and physical functions. The World Health Organization says about 50 million people worldwide have epilepsy and 10 million of them live in Africa. In the United States, 200,000 new cases of seizure disorders and epilepsy are diagnosed each year. The disease can strike anyone at any age, especially children. One American football player is making it his mission to raise awareness about the condition. I was a big athlete, big in the sports, you know, playing outside with my friends, you know, just normal kid stuff, you know, that I, you know, just running around having fun, you know. And, uh, you know, about age 14, I started having dizzy spells and the thing, you know, staring off into space. And my family started to see it and really didn't know what it was. and. Uh, so after that, uh, they, they knew something was wrong and I started seeing doctors and that was pretty much the signs of, you know, there was something wrong. And at age 15, I began to have actually something called grand mal seizures and uh, that's when I was diagnosed with epilepsy. Now, when you were diagnosed, tell us about how you felt with regards to your love for sport. Uh, you know, I was a little scared, you know, not knowing if it was going to affect, you know, me being able to participate in sports or, or when I was going to be able to do it and how often. Obviously, it's not affecting your sport, considering you went professional. Um, it was just an uphill battle, you know. I, I took time going to doctor to doctor, you know, trying to figure out what was right for me. And all the way through my second, my sophomore year in college, and that's when uh, my epilepsy just it turned for the worst. Uh, you know, I was having two, three seizures a day at one point. Couldn't participate in class. I couldn't play football. And uh, I had a doctor at the uh, University of Virginia that, uh, that I was introduced to. and. Um, he had a, a medicine called Kepra, and uh, he put me on that medication. And it was a slow process, but eventually my seizures started to decrease, and I was able to go back out there in football. And I guess it's been about 10 years since I've been on that medication, and it's been working for me. Can you take us through uh, a seizure? Is it something that you even remember, or do you have indications when it's going to start? I have indications in my body. You know, I, I feel off. You know, a lot of times I, you know, I, I go through my real bad headaches and stuff, you know, before my seizures, but, uh, you know, it just sometimes it varies, you know, and once I have them, you know, you don't really remember anything else after that. Tell us about uh, a day in the life of a football player who has epilepsy. What is it like? I mean, it's like a normal life. Uh, you know, I have to get up and take medicine every day. I have to be precautious of things you do. I can't, you know, ever in, in, overindulge in certain things. You know, I got to get my sleep you know, try to stay stress-free because anything can, can trigger a seizure. I find it a bit surprising that, uh, you know, you have to, to, to have some activities that are not very stressful and, and really monitor what you're doing. But football, it seems like football is very, a very hard sport, very physical. So how are you able to manage that? I love to do it and it's still a game, you know, to me. So I have a lot of fun with it and I kind of take that approach to it. But have you ever had a seizure while you were on the field? I've never had a seizure while playing football. I've had seizures uh, playing other sports. Uh, actually, playing baseball, I've had a seizure um, out on the field once. And uh, you know that was a scary moment. And uh, I was on that for a long time. And it was, how are they going to respond to you having a seizure? Are they going to run and back away from you? Or are they going to not want to be around you because you know you have that condition? because a lot of people don't know what it is and what it's about, you know, and they just, they just see the face of epilepsy as, you know, people having seizures and, you know, as just a, a scary thing. And all the horror stories, you know, behind, you know, people with epilepsy, it's, it's not a lot of knowledge about, you know, what you can do with it, what you can accomplish with it. And uh, I think that's my main goal and objective, just to show a more positive face behind epilepsy. Is it one of the reasons why you decided to come out? Now you are a spokesperson for the National Epilepsy Foundation. Exactly. Uh, I wanted just to, to show people that, you know, give them some encouragement that, you know, you know, here I am as an NFL football player and I live with epilepsy. I've dealt with the hard days, you know. You know, I have, I've had a lot of good days, you know, with my epilepsy now, you know, making it to the NFL. But, you know, I want to let people know that, you know, they weren't always the best days for me. You know, it wasn't always easy. Another thing I want to do is just kind of help and you know spread awareness and hopefully get funding and programs any any way possible I can use in my story to get funding and programs football and a lot of people with the same stories that I have they don't have those same outlets to, for medication and specialists like neurologists so you know I'm, I'm just here to try to 
let people be uh, become aware of that and lobby just for you know as much possible funding and things and such to to help others. And that's your health report for today. Back to you.